the sun. It's majestic, really straight out of lightning, and it's the night first day of the year. It's alive. I'm alive. It's still a little cold. It's calm. I think I'll visit the shrine. Lots of birds. Must be nice to have warm weather, warm winter plumage. Maybe I should borrow some from some birdie. We go buy an amulet and go home. Hiyoko! Ryota! Happy New Year! Here's to many happy returns, right? What are you doing, Ryota? Exactly what it looks like. I'm working here today and tomorrow. Oh, it looks good on you. You came here to buy an amulet, right? Which one would you like? I would like the one to fulfillment and conquest. Uh, yeah, that one. Here you go. Ooh, excuse me. Thanks, Ryuta. Are you here all day today? Yep, the first day is always busy. Oh, well, I was going to ask if you wanted to get lunch. Sorry, Hyoko. Maybe some other time? Since you're here, why not go get a fortune? They're next to the main building over there. Okay, see you later. Hmm. Mr. Donaki, Happy New Year! Oh, well, hello, Sasaka. Happy New Year. Did you get a first fortune, sir? Yes. Unfortunately, I seem to have drawn the chicken of ill omen. I will. Which one? Take this one. What did I get? Java blessing? What does it mean? I don't understand. Good. You got a better one than I did. I think this will be a good year for you, Tataka. Thank you, sir. Wait, isn't that... Yuya! Yuya? Happy new salutations, Monami. It is you! Happy new salutations to you, too. Ah, to meet you on the first day of the new year. A good omen, indeed. Did you come alone? Not exactly, no. I was looking for someone, but I seem to have lost sight of them. You're just as suspicious as always, Yuya. But I found you and I found you instead, so I can't say this was a wild goose chase, Monami. I shall go thank the gods of this shrine for this fated encounter. Adieu! God, Yuya is so weird. Is he like Batman or something? And so he soldered off with a dashing wave. I guess he was in a hurry. Running for his life. Happy New Year! Hope you all had good vacations. Cause I slept through all of mine. Let's enjoy the time while it lasts. Nothing special, so nothing to worry about. Ba -da -da -da. Da -da. Boom! Third term. It's the lighthouse, so maybe I'll go somewhere before I head out. Whee! Oh, tomorrow's Luguminati. Okay, I'm gonna try this actually. Legumen. Mantinas? Leguminitis. Beans Day! You know what? I'm gonna scratch it out and call it Beans Day. That works. I'll buy some beans. Today is Beans Day. Today, Beans Day is a holiday where you give beans to the boy you like, but apparently it's used to involve throwing them at pigeons. Disgraceful. Disgraceful. Let's choose our beans, shall we? I shall buy some bitter black beans for some reason. I'll take these. Thank you, miss. Here you go. Have a lovely day. Today is the day. The preparations are complete. Time to get the beans to that special somebody. I wanted to give Yuya beans, but I don't even know if he's at school today. Guess I'll have to call him. I have a phone. Salutations, Monami? He answered! Hello, how are you, Yuya? Where are you right now? I'm fine, but alas, I cannot say where I am. The best men always have a mystery or 2,000 after all. Do you need me for something? Um, could we meet up for a bit? Please, I'll only ask one, this once. A once in a lifetime request, in other words. Really? A once in a lifetime plus plenty more times in the same lifetime request. Well, that sounds important. I can't exactly say no, now can I? Shall we meet at the usual place in the park tonight? Say at eight? Okay. 
Yuya, I hope I didn't keep you waiting. Time spent waiting for a lady is magical. Uh, is is magical, irreplaceable time. To uh, pay it, to, no mind, Monami. Unfortunately, I do not have much time left today. Forgive my lack of romance, but may I ask what you wanted me to meet me for? Oh yes, it's Beans Day, so I wanted to give you this. You wanted to give me beans, Monami. Yes. Ah, how wonderful. I'm glad I risked my life to come here. I thought maybe your mature manly spirit would like these. Bitter black beans? Thank you, Monami. I have loved these since I was I was but a child. Had I told you that? Nope. My, but my hunter-gatherer instincts never fail. I see. I wonder if we truly are bound together by fate. How romantic. This gives me hope and caffeine to carry me through this darkest of nights. Adieu, Monami. And so he disappeared into the night. I can't say I have any more of an idea what he's up to than I ever do, but I'm glad he liked the beans. Huh. So he's clearly been, um... He's clearly been investigating the doctor, the doctor in the infirmary and having it linked to the, uh, and linked to the missing students, which to tell you the truth, they haven't really touched on that much. They just all been said like, Hey, Dave, have you realized that students have gone missing? And it's like, really? Students have gone missing? I've tell you the truth. I haven't noticed. <sighs> so, see how it goes. The semester is almost over. In a few short weeks, I will no longer be a sophomore. I haven't seen Yuya since New Year's. Apparently, he hasn't come to school all semester. There are rumors that he dropped out, but could that really be true? I feel like a hole has opened up in my heart. I think I'll go drown my sorrows in arcade games. Sounds about right. Wait, isn't that... Yuya? Mon ami? Y you look like you're doing pretty well. I, uh, have some stuff to do. I do. Hey, w wait! Oh, could you not grab me so tightly? Uh, Yuya, is your ring broke? <coughs> look out! What the fuck? A gunshot? Opening fire on a lady? Such insufferable cads they are. This way, Monami, run! What the fuck is going on? Yuya, what's going on? Please explain yourself. What are you? Why are people trying to kill you? Are you a wanted man? I suppose I can't really say you're not involved anymore, can I? It's time I explained. Do you know of the Hawk Party, what? The Hawk Party and the Dove Party, Monami. The political factions? Right. They were names used in human politics, but now they carry a different meaning. The Dove Party believes we should live peacefully with the remaining humans, while the Hawk Party believes we should exterminate them to make room for birds. Saint Pigeonation is actually a secret experimental institute created by the Hawks. What? What? <laughs> of course, it's not like the entire faculty is working for them. There's only one Hawk agent actually working at the school. By contrast, I was dispatched by the Doves to infiltrate the school and investigate the experiments. And as you said, I'm a wanted man. <laughs> I'm proud to live up to that title. I'm an expert at clandestine information retrieval and information is valuable. I imagine you've already realized why I was acting as a helper in the infirmary. Because the Hawk agent is... Dr. Iwamine. Correct. Iwamine is no doubt an assumed name. He's a researcher for the Hawk Party and has been developing anti-human biological weapons using data collected during physical examinations. Remember when we bumped into each other at the school shop? Yes, I think we... I was investigating where the products sold, sold there came from. come from. I found the DNA sampling from the pens. They are matched. Samples taken from missing students! Same goes for the, much of the poultry in the cat. So it is true? Holy shit. That's horrible! 
But if the doctor was out, out to exterminate humans, why did he never do anything to me? Hmm. This is just my interpretation, but I don't... Um, but I don't think he holds any political ideals. I think he trusts only his own knowledge and his own power to expand that knowledge. Something like a mad scientist, maybe? Exactly. I suppose it never occurred to him to target you since you were working for him. I think he was more interested in observing your interactions with the other students. I wanted to reveal the Hawk's involvement in the school, but in the end it proved too much, too much for me alone. And now, well, I can no longer live in the open. I plan to leave this city tonight. But I can't leave just yet. I don't know if I can. I'll just leave you here, Hyoko. Yuya, you may already have been marked as one of my associates, and if that is the case, then leaving you alone would be dangerous. I'm sorry I got you involved in this, Monami. Hardly! I was the one who approached you. You don't need to apologize. <laughs> You're such a nice girl. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll let you decide. Do you want to come with me into the world of darkness, or would you rather live a normal life? Of course, if you want to stay, I'll assign you agent. A I'll assign you agent to protect you. This is totally again. This is another another thing that was like completely out of left field. Of course, if you want to stay, I'll assign you agents. I want to go with you, yeah. I want to go with you. Are you sure? You may be putting your life at risk. Don't make me say it twice. <laughs> Somehow I was hoping you'd say that. I haven't been this happy in a long time. There's nothing more keeping us here then. Let us go, Monami. And so I followed Yuya into the world of darkness. Sometime in the future, a pair of spies in their endless battle for justice behind the frail curtain of society will pass into legend. But that's another story. That's for the sequel. Okay. Holy shit. Well. <laughs> wow. Okay. Things have just gotten a little crazy. Oh my goodness. Pigeonation. Yuya only... Yuya only lived twice. Oh my goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. <laughs> so, that was Yuya's story, and it turns out he's a secret agent for these two faction parties. Jeez, like, I swear, so every bird has, like, this, like, little secret in a way, and it's either, like, emotionally depressing or just, like, out of left field of what the fuck. So far, the only one that has been sort of predictable is Sakia, or hasn't been very impactful, I would say. But yeah, quite a something. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Romancing Yuya, and now that we are on the run of spies together, fighting off the Hawk Party with the Dove Party for some reason, so... Things are gonna be very interesting, and I think, like, as playing out, it's gonna get even more... I like the fact it's like, playing each story, you get, like, a little piece to the puzzle, and it's like, oh, god, so... Alrighty, guys, so I am Lady Renasaro. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next installment.